So we've got the pencil theory. You can get a, um, a stick approximately this side somewhere around you and create a pencil for yourself. And what we're going to do with the pencil is place it in the hole and go to the plastic. And we're going to create a vortex. So we go down and we pretty much create a vortex so that we can go all the way down to the plastic. Very, very important to get all the way down to the plastic. Okay. And then we're going to break up into teams and we're going to have uh, three people approximately around each of these and one person um, will pull them out and because it's easier to pull them out than it is to put them in. Um, so we'll have two people, one on each side, that will work uh, getting them in. It is very crucial to put them directly in the center of the pot. The plants cannot have any dirt on them, and they cannot be leaning towards any plastic. They lean against plastic, they won't make two or three days. Okay. So when you come in here, we have a couple of other beds. Just have a couple of people here. Um, we have put that soil, seed, soil, leaves, screen, leaves. And now we can take our hands because they haven't gone deep enough. And we could take our hands and actually go down into it. And um, what I like to do is to, is to get... Now, we're going to have some spring beauties. You can leave them alone. Uh, get down to the dirt. Put your finger down below it and, see, and get it to move. It's, huh? You don't. You don't think that that's ginseng? It's all the way down. Okay. So this one came up without a um, without a uh, a nut on it, and um, I think you're right. It's not. So almost all the time that we've been doing this, we've been coming up with the seed. There it is. How long has that plant been in the ground, Robert? Since the fall. And we're going to take this plant and I give it to this person. Oh, do your hand the way you used to, so that it lays across it, and then he can take it and place it into the tray, right dead center, and push it down until the plant, which is just starting here, is going to grow some more. So you don't want to keep it all the way up, as it'll just fall over. And then you compact the rest of the soil down so that it's, um, and at this stage, every year the ginseng is, uh, is amenable to be being handled in the springtime, like right here, right now. Um, we're going to have a little cold weather again tonight, uh, so we'll probably want to put the um, the straw back on it, and again, has the little seed, and I'll put it across his hand that way, and you can see how Wyatt is, he's getting really good at this, I mean, I want him to come back every year. So you put seed in the ground here, that's yeah, in, in the fall, um, if you go to our uh, 
ginseng hunt, which is uh, one of our things, you'll see us putting this bed in, in the fall. Oh. And so it's not very hard. You just get underneath them and, and wiggle them. See, when, when that starts to move like that, it's no longer. And now this is one of the weeds. That's a weed. It's called gall of the earth. And it's just a forest weed. It comes in three different sh um, fla uh, leaf shapes, so it can fool you. You can't always go by the leaf shape. Okay. Everybody excited? Okay. Robert, do you use this bed over and over again? No. No. What we do is we're going to take out the ones that are obvious this year. There's going to be seed that are just not going to come up this year. They're going to want to come up next year. So they're in here. But basically each of these beds, after the ginseng has been put in, is changed into a golden seal bed. So every bed that I have that is golden seal right now had ginseng in it. And the possibility of a ginseng every once in a while popping up is really good. But um, you don't, or the other thing that you could do is when you pull them out, you leave them spaced so that they're the foot and a half to three foot apart and you just leave them in the bed and those will be your two and three year olds. <laughs> Thank you.